Good day to you everyone, my name is Whistler and welcome back to the 1.18 Survival Series. I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. So, we are here back in the Valley of Plenty once again. We've built a nice looking nether portal in the last episode. We've got our enchanting tower behind us there and we've got our starter house as well. And, oh, I think I just picked up raw beef. <laughs> I think the llamas killed the, one of the cows in the last episode, and I didn't realise. <laughs> I think that must have been how it went down. But yes, we built this nether portal behind me last time. And I've got to say, I love how it has turned out. I do need to wax everything though, so I do think we need to <laughs> create a bee farm at some stage in the near future. But that will not be today's project. But today's project is we need a source of XP, so... We're going to head down towards the skeleton spawner that I found in the last episode. And we're going to turn that into a nice little skelly grinder. And the skeleton spawner in question is just split off in a cave off of this cavern. This is like the, the smaller cavern that I found when I was going like branch mining or something. So the skeleton spawner is through here, through this little cave here, beyond the tough. Um, which way was it? Was it this way? No, it wasn't that way. Ow! That is not nice, Mr. Zombie. Die for me. Oh! Gosh, lag spike. That wasn't very nice. Right. There we go. He's burned. <laughs> um, the spawner itself is over here. There we go. Unfortunately, there weren't any chests when I found it, so we got scammed in that department. But this is going to be where we have our farm. So I don't really tend to go for spawner-based farms in my worlds anymore, but seeming as we are in the very, very early game, I think we should give this a try. And you know what? Dropping the skeletons to half a heart, that's going to do wonders for this series where I can't use conventional weapons. <laughs> so let's get started and dig ourselves a pit. Oh, hang on, before I forget, I should probably place some blocks above this spawner because we don't want that space lowering our efficiency later. <laughs> oh, hello. Well, aren't you a nice surprise? <laughs> I wasn't actually expecting to run into diamonds while trying to dig this pit, but I guess, uh, yeah, they could probably generate down here. I am near the bottom of the world, so let's just mine these diamonds and see how many we get. Eight diamonds. Wow. <laughs> I probably should have saved that for when I had Fortune 3, but I don't have Fortune 3. And to be honest, the whole idea of this skeleton spawner is to give me XP, because I need that. I need the enchantment! <laughs> so I guess the next step is to add the water so that we can sweep our skeletons to a corner over here. Oh, hang on. I actually need more water. I only had one bucket. So I'll just steal that from here. There we go. And you know what? I've got some soul sand, so I'll bring that down as well. We'll need that. <laughs> Uh, there we go, We've got our water sources forming, and then we can drag all of our skeletons over here to the corner, and then we can put some soul sand beneath that, and a nice water elevator where we can take the skeletons up to uh, a height, I can't remember what number it is, it might be 22 blocks, and then we'll have them drop on top of a hopper, and we'll be able to collect the drops from there. Now, you know what, though, <laughs> I do not have access to ice at this time, so we're doing this the hard way with the water sources in our elevator. <laughs> and there we go, that is going to be our pit. And I quite like the way that I've got this corner view into the room, so I think we might try to keep that. And we might use some tinted glass or something so that we could look into it later. I think that's a good idea. And we'll have our skeletons dropping here on top of that hopper there, and we'll get the drops into this chest here, but I need a fall of about 22 blocks, I think, so let's pillar up into our nice dark hole, just like so. Oh uh, dear, I should have come up here with torches, I can't see. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. And then with these last few buckets, our water elevator should be finished. Fantastic. And then we can drag the skeletons around the corner with a water stream. And now that all of that is done, I do believe that I can remove the torches from the spawner. I could probably do this pretty quickly before they get angry with me. <laughs> I'd prefer to not be shot down. Oh, there they are. One skeleton. He's already shooting at me. Go away. Stop it. Ow. <laughs> so, I believe the next thing we need to do is to test whether the skeletons are actually on half a heart when they land here. <laughs> there we go. Die. 
Oh, no, that's two hits. Okay, I need to go one block lower. That should be easy enough to do, though. Right, how's this? Yeah, there we go. That's more like it. <laughs> and now I have a perfectly functioning skeleton grinder. And it's even going to supply me with bows, although I won't use them. Well, I'll use them in the way that I'm going to turn them into dispensers. That's my use for bows in this world. <laughs> Since I have more diamonds, though, I can probably start crafting some diamond armor for myself. There we go. We've got ourselves a diamond helmet, a diamond chest plate, and some diamond boots, because I don't have enough for the leggings. <laughs> there we go. Excellent. And we'll put our old armor in here with the other old armor. Um, I do need some more diamonds to replace the leggings at some point, though. But we'll get to that. And for tinted glass, I need some amethyst shards. <laughs> so we're going to brave this giant cavern again. And we'll try and get some from this geode over here. Hopefully the mobs won't be too annoying. <laughs> I'd hate for a creeper to blow it up. Die for me, skeleton. There you go. You too, spider. Oi, stop moving. Stop moving. Oh, don't jump out of it. There we go. And let's just harvest some amethyst shards. I don't know how many of these I'm going to need. Oh, I didn't mean to fall just then. But I think we should probably have enough if we just harvest the entire geode. And we're also going to need some glass to make the tinted glass. So we're here at the river again. I have no idea where a desert is in this world. Uh, I worry that it's going to be really far away. Like in the Netherquarium series, but hopefully not. So we have our amethyst shards and we have our sand. Let's start smelting the sand. We'll turn that into glass and craft it all up into tinted glass. I've got some steak in there. Didn't know about that. Thank you for the food. Uh, hello, house cow. Um, hi. So let's craft that into tinted glass. 60 blocks is probably more than enough. So let's just make a nice little window where we can look in on the spawner here. There we go. And the reason we're using tinted glass is because you can see through it and it doesn't let light through, so it doesn't affect the spawner rates like in the slightest. Let's see. The spawner room is completely dark. We're getting skeletons spawning down there and we can see the whole thing function. This is fantastic. Hello, skeleton. How are you doing down there? Are you going to go? Yes, he is. There he goes. And we can just kill our skeletons with one hit like this. Unless they have armor. I suspect that's going to take a few more because the, the fall probably isn't going to be enough for, to deal them enough damage to take them down to half a heart. But that is okay. We'll have a work around that at some point in the future, but I'm going to need potions before then. <laughs> and I'd quite like to decorate our little spawn room down here. So we're going to line the tinted glass with polished, uh, I was about to call it grimstone. This is deep slate. <laughs> and we'll go with chiseled deep slate here as well. And just to outline that, we'll use some copper. Although I don't have much of this left. <laughs> there we go. I think that's going to turn out well. Although I do need to clear out the area a little bit. I, I need the space. <laughs> Let's just finish off our copper outline there. I think we'll wax that when we're able to. But I'd say this is a very cool window that we've got here. I like how that looks. I think I will just change these stairs for normal copper blocks, though. And then just beyond this copper, I think we'll have a nice spruce wood floor. We'll start with the logs and we'll strip them. And then we'll start using some spruce planks and some spruce trap doors. And then just in the corners here, we'll have a stair and a slab and a trap door. And that's just going to add a nice little bit of a curve to our ceiling. And then we can strip our logs, just like so. And I'm going to need a lighting source, but I don't particularly want it to be visible. So we're actually going to hide shroom lights beneath some trap doors here. There we go. That's going to turn out well. Hey, watch this. <laughs> yes, skeletons, die for me. <laughs> uh, I do miss sweeping edge, but this isn't too bad. This is still a good source of XP. And so far, we've got an absolute ton of drops here. We've got loads of bones, loads of arrows, although I won't need those, and tons of bows. And we're able to turn that into a bunch of dispensers, which I hope to do some point soon. I need a wool farm, you see. I do need a new diamond pickaxe, so unfortunately I'm going to have to mine one of these ores here. And there we go, a new diamond pickaxe. And then we can hopefully enchant that with Fortune 3. So here we are at the top of our enchanting tower. Hopefully we'll get lucky, although we might not do. Let's see how it goes!
Fortune 3, here we go. Efficiency 4. Uh. Oh. Ow. That is a really good pick. That is a fantastic pick. It's not Fortune 3, though. Oh, why? <laughs> oh, dear. Um, We'll keep this pick just because of how fantastic it is. But I was really hoping on Fortune just then. <laughs> oh, I'm sad now. So we're going to place a nice little grindstone here. And I think we shall disenchant one of the other pickaxes. And then hopefully you'll be able to get Fortune 3 on one of those. So I think we'll go for our first pickaxe, which was this one. The one with efficiency 2. And let's see what we get on it. Silk Touch. Why are you doing this to me, game? Okay, let's see what we get elsewhere. Like on the chest plate, protection 3. I think I'll save that for protection 4. Fire protection on the helmet. No thanks. How about the boots? How do we do on there? Fire protection 3. Oh dear. <laughs> so let's just disenchant that pickaxe there. There we go. Reroll. Unbreaking 3, that's better. Let's see if we get fortune. That isn't fortune. Stop doing this to me game. Efficiency 4. Here we go. Ah, oh, please game. Right, here we go again. Fortune 2? Minecraft! As tempting as it is to keep this, I think what I will do is I'll disenchant that and I'll try and force it out of some um, librarian villages. I feel like my luck is just not going that well of the table today. So yeah, I think we'll head towards the village and we'll try and force Fortune 3 out of one of them and maybe Mending as well. That might be a good shout. I do think I'm in need of that. Right, to the village! Hello, sir. How are you doing? Do you like sticks? Oh yes, you love sticks, don't you? Right, okay, let's craft up a whole bunch of those and get ourselves some emeralds. Yeah, there we go. We can just trade that immediately by hitting the space bar. Did you know, I didn't actually know that you could do that with trading with villagers. <laughs> not until recently. I've just been manually re-clicking everything and oh dear, it's not good. So, hello, sir. How are you doing? Do you fancy giving me... Fortune 3, or maybe Mending? Those are my two targets for you today. No oh, no! Oh! Why? Why? <laughs> oh, no. I just used an axe as a weapon. That's not good. I need, um... Quick, everyone. Think of a forfeit. That will make up for the fact that I just hit a villager with an axe. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh, he's not, still not giving me mending either. He's going to hate me too. Everything's going to be really expensive. That's not good. But yeah, let me know of a good forfeit for using a weapon in the comments down below, everyone. Because I, I need something clearly to make up for the fact that I just use an axe as a weapon. <laughs> oh dear. Mending? Oh, that's so expensive, though. We can do better. We can do better. There we go. That's a cheap mending trade. I'll take that. Thank you very much. I think that's 10 normally if I haven't just whacked him with an axe. So, yeah, that's pretty cheap. We'll keep this guy. Thank you very much, sir. Although, I do still need Fortune 3. <laughs> oh, shoot. That was it. Fortune 3. Fantastic. Fantastic. We finally have it, everyone. Oh, this is going to be awesome. So we're going to need an anvil for this. Luckily, I have just enough iron for it. So let's combine some of these books together and we'll make an absolute beast of a tool out of our fortune pickaxe. There we go. This is going to be efficiency four and fortune three, unbreaking three, mending as well. And you know what? Let's make it efficiency five as well. And I think to mark the occasion, we shall give this pickaxe a name. And our name is going to be... O oh, Fortuna! There we go. So I'd say we've got two pretty fantastic picks at the moment. We've got a fully maxed out Fortune pick. And we've got a Silk Touch pickaxe as well. Which we will call Silky Smooth. Now that we have Fortune though. We can harvest all of the ores that I've just been leaving around. Oh yes. 
There we go. 12 out of... What was it? Was it 5? That's a good amount of iron. Oh, just look at this gold too. We can harvest this. How much have we got? Five raw ingots. Fantastic. And just here, we've got a diamond. Three diamonds out of one. Oh, we can harvest these as well. How many are you going to give me, game? Five. Die for me, skellies. So I suppose now that we have enough diamonds for our leggings, we should probably craft some. There we go. Full diamond armor. I am now blue. <laughs> now that we have Fortune 3 though, I think we should probably start branch mining. I don't think we'll do this for too long, we'll keep going until we run out of torches, but hopefully we'll come across a good amount of diamonds in the meantime, because the torches can be spread pretty far apart now. There we go, we've got a diamond, though I think it is just literally a diamond. <laughs> that is unfortunate, although we did get a couple out of that. Oh, look at all of this copper. We're going to fortune all of it. <laughs> I, 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 I can't wait. Let, let's do this. Let's see how many we get. Please give me a high number. Please give me a high number. Oh, I've already got a stack. I've got two stacks just from on Orvain. Oh my goodness. Three stacks of copper and 23. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. <laughs> I'm going to be rich now. Just from doing a little bit of caving in this dripstone cave. We're going to get tons of copper. In fact, I've gotten so much copper blocks now just from caving just then. That to get this little bit of last copper here, I'm going to pillar up with copper blocks. That's how rich I am. I think this will be the last copper vein that I mine today though. Because I've gotten a lot. This is going to have me set for a while. So yeah, we've now got four stacks of raw copper blocks and an additional four on top of that. That's pretty good going. I only spent about 20 minutes mining these. <laughs> the rates are awesome now. The other thing I need a lot of though at the moment is iron. So let's try and fortune up a bunch of that as well. I don't think we'll get as much as the copper, but I do need the iron. Oh my goodness, look at that. We've got deep slate copper ore here. That's pretty rare, isn't it? That's awesome. Oh no, stay away from me, you child. There we go. That's good. Always love a good dead zombie. Oh! Oh, this is a this is a spawner, isn't it? <laughs> I didn't even notice the cobble. <laughs> oh, we've got two chests here as well. Let's just quickly light it up. Uh, fire protection one book. That's pretty rubbish. We've got a music disc at last. Finally, we have something that we can play on our jukebox. Here we go. Let's play this thing. Oh yeah, the sound of music. I think that's one of the new advancements, right? Oh, and just in case anyone was wondering, we still have our witch over here, slowly freezing to death. She must be at absolute zero by now. <laughs> Minus 273 degrees centigrade. My goodness. I did have a name suggestion in the comments for a name for the witch though, and I think we'll go with Hilda. Hilda the witch. Oi, no. What have I told you about trespassing? In my valley. Get out. Clearly death is the only answer. And I think we'll hang that banner just there to serve as a warning. Villagers, beware. I would quite like to finish off the room for our skeleton grinder here. So, let's start that time lapse. It probably isn't going to turn out very well because it's very cramped down here. But let's see how it goes. And welcome back everyone, I hope you enjoyed that time lapse because it probably didn't turn out very well, but our room is pretty much completed. And I have to say, I think it's turned out pretty well. I mean, over here we've gotten plenty of storage for bows, and we could move bones and arrows over here as needed, although I probably should just burn the arrows. We've gotten plenty of armour and stuff like that over here, as well as the rest of the resources that I took down here. We've gotten loads of bones here as well. I've got to say, I'm very happy that I've got a very good source of bone meal now. This is awesome. Although there was one occasion where I was just whacking at one particular skeleton for ages. Where, where is it? Where are the boots? There they are. Protection 3 and Feather Falling 4. My goodness, that skeleton was very tanky. <laughs> he just happened to land here. It must have taken like no damage from the fall. So he, he did take a lot of whacks from the stick. <laughs> And 
over here on this wall, I put a smiley face because I didn't know what else to put here. We made it out of copper. And you know what? Sometimes all you need to make your day a little bit better is a smiley face. So yeah, that's our wall. And over here, I think we'll have this be our entrance and exit. It's not complete in the slightest, as you can see. But I'm thinking at the moment that we should put a nice water elevator or something. And that can take us directly to and from the surface. Instead of having to descend through those caverns all the time. Because that's that's pretty painful. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but other than that, this room is pretty much complete. And I'm very happy with it. Oh, I didn't notice that diamond. <laughs> I'll take that for sure. How many are we going to get? Just the one. We've got two diamonds out of that one ore. Okay, that's fine. Two diamonds is enough for me. In fact, we've actually got another diamond just here. Gimme it, gimme it. I don't want to burn it. Um, I'd very much prefer not to burn it. Oh, I think it's on top of the deep slate just there. Okay, we'll... We can do this, we can do this. Okay. Uh, don't, don't fall into the lather. Oh, there we go. We picked it up. And I'm on fire, but that, that's okay. Don't mind that. <laughs> Well, this is only a mildly terrifying notice. <laughs> you may not rest now. There are monsters nearby. The stuff of nightmares. <laughs> oh, there we go. It didn't take too long for them to go away. <laughs> yes, mobs burn. Burn in the daylight. Oh, no. They're breaking down the door. Don't break the door. Right. Um. How, how am I going to kill this guy? Stop breaking the door. Stop it! Oi! Stop! Oh, this, this guy's fully armoured up as well! Uh, oh, there's another zombie too! Of course there is! Uh, you know what? I don't think the zombie can actually get to me. I think I've actually looked out with the placement of my carpets. <laughs> that was lucky. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I've gotten the levels now though, so let's enchant all of our diamond armour and see what we get. So we'll go with the helmet first. Respiration 3. Protection 3 as well. That's pretty good. I'll take that. Uh, the boots. Protection 3. Uh, what's happening to the Protection 4? Where's the Protection 4? Have they nerfed enchanting tables? Or am I just really unlucky? Because I haven't seen that at all today. That, that's just... That's pretty bad going, I've got to say. I think we'll enchant the chest plate next, though. Unbreaking 3. Protection 3 again. Where's Protection 4? This isn't going very well. Protection 3 in the boots. Protection 3 in the boots. Okay. Okay. I see how it is, game. Uh, unbreaking 3 on the axe as well. That is a good axe. Thank you very much. The only thing that could have made that better was Silk Touch. Now, how's our roof doing? Has it oxidized yet? Please tell me it has. I want to show you how I wanted it to look like. Can I scrape it off? Oh, no. I think we're going to have to wait for another episode there, unfortunately. Oh, dear. I really wanted to show you that rainbow effect today. It looks really cool. I guess it'll have to wait until next time. But just to end the episode off, let's play Cat once more. I think this is one of the better music discs in the game, I've got to say. But this world is slowly coming together. We've got Rosemary just over there. I need to find you a saddle at some stage. Um, we didn't really do anything on the surface of the world in this episode, but I think next time we will. I have an idea for a wool farm next time. <laughs> Oh, would you look at that? The house cow is admiring the view. Oh, don't be embarrassed, house cow. It is a spectacular view up there. I'm afraid I'm going to have to end the episode there, though. So thank you all for watching. I hope you had a wonderful time, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thanks for watching, everyone.